Hey, lovely people. It is a wonderful Friday morning and it's been a while, but I love you guys. And I'm just, I am in love with God. Like I am in love with him. It's hard to even uh, relate to me. And I realize I'm in this little bubble sometimes because all I do is really talk about him because he's just the lover of my soul. And if that's not where somebody is, then I am boring. Yeah, but it's all good. But um, <laughs> First Kings chapter 22 um, was my read this morning. And I, and I was like, wow, this is powerful because um, it's talking about when Micah, a prophet, was giving a word um, to the king of Israel and the king of Judah because there were 400 prophets that told them to go into battle. But uh, Jehoshaphat, which I just love this king, Jehoshaphat was like, wait. Is there not a, a prophet of the Lord amongst us? Like, there's 400 prophets here, but I need a prophet from the Lord, which was a distinction. And this prophet Micah comes forth and he says, well, let me tell y'all what the Lord said when I inquired if you all should go into battle. Micah says in First uh, Kings chapter 22, verse 19, he says, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne with all the hosts of heaven standing around him on his right and on his left. The whole army was surrounded around God at the throne. Can you imagine seeing that? Verse 20, And the Lord said, Who will entice Ahab into attacking Ramoth Gilead and going to his death there? One suggested this and another that. Finally, a spirit came forward, stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. Yeah, I'll do the job, Lord. Verse 22, and the Lord said, by what means? How are you going to do it? And the Lord, the, the Lord asked, he says, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouths of all his prophets. He said, you will succeed in enticing him, said the Lord. Go and do it. So now the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouths of all these prophets of yours. All four of those 400 of the prophets had a lion spirit on them that told Ahab to go uh, to fight uh, in this war. And literally, the reason that they were told that by this spirit was so that Ahab could be killed. And it was at the call of the Lord. The Lord said, who will entice him to go to battle so that he may be killed? That might be a hard pill to swallow sometimes when we don't understand um, the rationale of God because he's all power. He's sovereign. He he gets to do what he wants when he wants. He is God. So don't try to wrap your mind around when he makes decisions that are contrary to what you think your God would do. He, he is the giver and the taker of life. He's the only one who can give and take life. And he's the only one who can give directions for the giving and the taking of a life. So this here was just a powerful word here um, that 400 prophets were used were a spirit of a lying spirit. And we know who a lying spirit is. Uh, John chapter 8 and 44 says, You belong to the father, the devil, and, and want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding uh, the truth, for there is no truth in him. When the lies he speak. Um, when he lies, he speaks in his native tongue, in his own language, for he is a liar and he is the father of lies. This liar was dispatched by our God to handle what it was that needed to be done, which was foretold, which was predestined to occur. But yet this young prophet, this Micah, this prophet, he says, no, I'm going to speak what thus saith the Lord. And then the verse says that he was actually smacked, that one of the 400 prophets, which was a prominent prophet, smacks him for not being in alignment with the other 400 prophets. And he actually asked him, like, when did the Lord speak my words to you? Like, when did the Lord bypass me and give you this word to say, as to say, who qualify you for it? I'm a prophet, not you. Deep. I'm not even, that's a, that's a whole nother topic, but I'm just going to move forward. And I pray that you receive this word and you go back and read it. First Kings, again, chapter 22, read it in its entirety. I was reading from the NIV version. Um, Y'all have a blessed day. And it, it just amazes me that our God is sovereign and he's omnipotent. He's all power, all power. 
give him honor unto whom honor is due, and that is unto our Lord. Amen, y'all.